Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Waterflower here. Hope you're having a beautiful day. I know I am. Long time no video, huh? <laughs> my laptop retired itself and luckily I'm able to get all of my videos off. So there will be new videos uploaded daily from this point on. A couple of videos ago, I did try the Erica Ripple technique and I'm trying it again today. This time I'm actually using pre-mixed paints, which is acrylic paint, school glue, and some water. Mine isn't like the official kind because <laughs> I don't work with Floetrol, so it's good as it's going to get. And I am using a butter dish and layering the paint similar to how she does, which is layering it but doing a drizzle or zigzag motion. So beautiful. So I didn't really think this through. The butter dish was already really heavy as is, so being filled with paint did not help. So hopefully maybe you don't go with something that's ceramic, but when you're pouring the paint out, you're going to want to create this overlapping wave and continue to do this all across the canvas for until you run out of paint or whatever just kind of like works for you. The pieces Erica creates are so beautiful. And I think it's just because she has a lot of practice doing it since it is her own technique. But whenever you guys are pouring, do you ever look at like the container or the cup? And it's just so beautiful. And then like the colors just get covered and it looks nothing like it. I get that a lot when I'm painting cells. And the cup is just so beautiful. It's multi-dimensional. And then the actual painting is just like a blob of color, no cells. So the struggle is real. But when you start moving the canvas around, what I saw Erica do, she basically covered all the corners and kind of shifted it. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. And I love it so much. I think it looks so cool. I love how Pastella turned out. But thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell and have a psychedelic day.